Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS opens many taxpayer assistance centers across the nation on March 11th for special Saturday hours and face-to-face -face help. Yay! Face-to-face -face communication is okay again? Could this be a result of even the IRS realizing they need to stop listening to, quote, the experts, end quote? The greatest perpetrator of misinformation during the pandemic has been the United States government. Misinformation that COVID was spread through surface transmission, that vaccinated immunity was far greater than natural immunity, that masks were effective. Now we have the definitive Cochrane review. What do you do with that review? Cochrane is the most authoritative evidence body in all of medicine and has been for decades. Do you just ignore it, not talk about it? I mean, honestly, like asking these experts for advice is like asking the Joker to do something funny. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> you know, it's not a good idea or a safe one. That myocarditis was more common after the infection than the vaccine. Not true. It's four to 28 times more common after the the vaccine. That young people benefit from a booster. Misinformation. Our two top experts on vaccines quit the FDA in protest over this particular issue, pushing boosters in young, healthy people. The data was never there. I'm telling you, like trusting our current expert class is like trusting a new age magician to perform open heart surgery. Yeah, it might be entertaining, but it's definitely not gonna end well. There being very high odds, you'll end up with like a huge cavity in your chest that's sculpted to look like a female genitalia or something. That it was likely from the lab. Both scientists changed their tunes days later in the media and then both scientists received $9 million subsequent in funding from the NIH. It's a no-brainer that it came from the lab. Anyways, I, honestly, I, like, like I asked a government expert how he ended up in his government expert position one time, and I got a story that was so close to the theme of the 80s zitcom Boozin' Buddies, it's ridiculous. When we first moved to New York, we had a great apartment that was dirt cheap. And we found out why it was so cheap. Our friend Amy said there was a great apartment in her building. Dirt cheap, but it's a hotel for women. Okay, we made one adjustment. Now these other ladies know us as Buffy and Hildegard. You know, that, that show was supposed to be such an outlandishly strange situation that it was funny. But they also know us as Kip and Henry, Buffy and Hildy's brothers. I am uh, crazy about the blonde. <laughs> This experience is going to make a great book. See, it's all perfectly normal. And, 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 now, and now it's like the standard story of every average White House administrator. I'm telling you, like, you could, I mean, you got, you got to do what you got to do to pay the rent, I guess. But, but I, I don't want to take medical advice from some dude who started cross-dressing just to land a government expert position so he could pay the rent. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying. He's a monster. Anyways, on to the news. IR 2023-39, March 6, 2023, Washington. The IRS will again open on Saturday at many tax assistance centers across the country on March 11th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. as part of its effort to improve service this tax season. Additional Saturday openings are planned for April 8th and May 13th. During the special Saturday openings, there's a link to that here, taxpayers can receive face-to-face -face help from IRS employees without an appointment. Normally, these centers are open during the week and people should have appointments to receive services. So if you're going during the normal weekday hours, typically you want an appointment apparently, but during these Saturday hours, walk-ins will be accepted for all services routinely offered by an, uh, at an office, except for cash for making cash payments. So tax return preparation is not a service provided by IRS TACs. So services provided then, what are they? The IRS's contact your local office, there's a link to that here, site lists all services provided at specific taxpayer assistance centers. So if you want to check that out, there's a link to that here and you can see what they've got over there. So if someone has questions about a tax bill, an IRS audit, 
or they need help resolving a tax problem, they'll receive assistance from IRS employees specializing in those services. If these employees aren't available, the individual will receive a referral for additional help on these services. So IRS Taxpayer Advocate Service, there's a link to that here, employees may also be available to help with some issues. Professional foreign language interpretation will be available in many languages through an over-the-phone translation service. For deaf or hard of hearing individuals who need uh, sign language interpreter services, IRS staff will schedule appointments for a later date. Alternatively, these individuals can call, and there's a number here, I won't say it because there'll be a link to this in the description. You can look it up yourself to make an appointment. For more information on the special Saturday openings, visit irs.gov forward slash Saturday hours. There's a link to that here for a snapshot of the most uh, res res uh, requested customer for service topics. You can see publication 5136 IRS service guide. There's a link to that here. So if you want to see what makes these places so popular, then you can take a look at that publication. So uh, come prepared, individuals should bring the following documents with them. You want the current government issued photo identification. So the IRS has to verify who you are, of course, with an ID of some kind. Social security cards or ITINs for themselves and all members of their household, including their spouse and dependents, if applicable. Any IRS letters or notices received and related documents uh, for identity verification services, two forms of identification and if filed a copy of the tax return for the year in question. During the visit, IRS staff may also request the following information, a current mailing address, proof of bank account information included on a tax return uh, to receive payments or refunds by direct deposit. Tax return preparation options. While tax return preparation is not a service offered by IRS TACs, information will be shared about available local free tax preparation options. Help is also available using the following services. Number one, you got the eligible individuals or families can get free help preparing their tax returns at Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, that's the VITA, or Tax Counseling for the Elderly, the TCE. There's links to that here. Uh, to find the closest free tax return preparation help, use the VITC locator tool or call the number here. You can check that number out. There'll be a link to this in the description. Note that you've got the volunteer uh, income tax assistance, which probably is going to specialize in people that are, that are low to moderate income uh, in their working years type of situation. Whereas obviously the counseling for the elderly is going to be focused on tax returns that are in their later years and have incomes from like social security and, and those types of sources. So that's kind of the difference on when you might want to be thinking of which one you're going to be going to. So number two, find an AARP tax aid site. Use the AARP site locator tool, or you can call the number here. Number three, any individual or family earning 73000 or less in 2022 can use tax software through IRS free file. There's a link to that here at no cost. That's going to be the third party software that you can use to prepare the tax return. Even if you're a low income individual or you know someone who is, you would probably want to check it out and if you can get access to free software to check out if it would still benefit to file a return which it often would even if you're not required to file a return due to many of the refundable credits like the child tax credit and earned income tax credit then you know I would recommend just about everybody might as well check it out if you can do it for free so there are products in English and Spanish, Espanol. So you've got the mill tax. There's a link to that here. A Department of Defense program offers free return preparation software and electronic filing for federal tax returns and up to three state income tax returns. Now, again, if you are in the military, you might be able to get access to the IRS free file, but, uh, but which, which I would think might actually be better because those are not those are those are softwares that are competing on the market versus the mill tax, which was developed by the Department of Defense. And I would think the free software would also still be able to cover the needs of the people in the military. However, I'm starting to think more and more that the differentiating factor between the free market software and the mill tax might be uh, for people in the military that have those multiple states. So if you're in the military, you might be moving around a lot and sometimes one of the limitations on the free software, you've got the $73,000 limitation, but also the state limitations are there as well. So if you've got multiple states, 
that you need to do your taxes with, then that 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 might cost you more. Uh, it might not be free, even if you're under the 73000 for the free software. So I would think that would be one of the variables to kind of think about if you're in a situation where you're like, well, I could use either one, which would be better uh, to go forward with. So in any case, it's available for all the mil- military members and some veterans with no income limit. Help available 24-7 at irs.gov. So they've got a website too. They've got the website. We're on it right now. The IRS encourages people to explore irs.gov before traveling uh, to an office. It's the fastest and easiest way for people to get the help they need. They can learn about many self-service tools and resources available to resolve common tax concerns online. Some include IRS identity protection services, requesting individual taxpayer identification numbers, TINs, refunds, uh, transcripts, and payment options. You can go to irs.gov for more information. Available resources include the where's my payment, where's my refund, you could check the status of, of your refund with that one. Direct payment. You can make tax payments or estimated tax payments for free from a checking or savings account. It's free to, to give your money to the IRS. They don't even charge you for that unless you use a credit card. But that's the credit card charging you, not the, not the government. So electronic federal tax payment system. You got the individuals or business can make all types of federal tax payments with that thing. The 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 the, the Anyways, you can check that out. Online payment agreement, set up installment payments to pay uh, taxes owed. So if you if you owe them money, you could set up an agreement like online to like try to pay them in installments possibly and whatnot. Where's my amended return? You could track the status of an amended return. Interactive tax assistance and FAQs get answers to many tax law questions. You've got that. And you've got all the IRS forms and publications all listed out there, which is quite a helpful resource oftentimes because you can look at the instructions oftentimes for those forms, which might guide you then to other resources uh, to look at, publications, tax code, and whatnot when you when you start getting into funny questions on the tax code so find and download current tax forms instructions and publications those without access to the internet can call there's a number here and order tax forms by mail if you would like to do that and so there'll be links to all that stuff uh, here there'll be a link to this in the description